Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. It's been a fun match thus far. We've got Rancor going up against Arter Turtle. Bottom left-hand corner, we have Arter Turtle starting as the Blue Zerg upper right-hand corner. Actually, let me switch these colors. Yeah, let's mix it up. I take it back. Upper right-hand corner, we have Rancor starting as the Yellow Zerg. Bottom left-hand corner, Stylish Purple, Arter Turtle. This is on Blue Storm, which is honestly one of those maps that, again, can have interesting ZVZ play because of that gap at that natural expansion, allowing Zerglings to kind of do the run-through. But you can also plug that gap with just a single Zergling, which means any reinforcements would have to go all the way around. So this almost acts like... It's kind of interesting because it's not a ramp, but it almost behaves like a ramp as far as the capacity for providing latent defense. Anyway, game one, game two, in this best of eight, or best of... <laughs> try this again. Round of eight, best of five. Going to Rancor. So Rancor is one game away from a round of four berth. This is a two-player map as well, which kind of shifts things around. It looks like we are going to see a nine pool from Ard Turtle. If nothing else, I gotta, I gotta feel like last match was fun just because it was atypical as far as some of the ZZVZ things we've seen. It looks like we're going to see some sort of Overlord first build. Actually, is this going to be? I was wondering if we're going to see an Extractor cancellation, but the Extractor is just building. So an Extractor before spawning pool for Rancor. Off the overpool. And that is going to give a slight edge to Rancor overall. But again, kind of an un atypical ZVZ. So Rancor is seeing an atypical ZVZ maneuver from Arbitral. He's going to throw out an atypical maneuver himself. This is going to allow him to get er much earlier gas, which is potentially going to be earlier Zergling speed, potentially earlier layer. Small things can mean a lot in ZVZ. Nine pool finishes. Six Zerglings being produced initially here. Pool will be finished momentarily for Rancor. He's up two drones comparatively. Overlords just kind of passing each other out in space. It's another advantage on kind of a two-player maps, as you know, the Overlord timings. This is going to be a critical thing here, though. The, the spawning pool is finished, but there are no larva to build Zerglings here. And he's continuing to drone. Oh, no. So Rancor... Just going straight layer, zero drones. He's going to have to rely on defense with this creep gun. He does have the the double building to try to provide a layer of defense. So it's going to have to come down to drones and buildings to defend this. The nine pool zerglings are on their way. Sunken colonies being built. Second creep colony at the forward position. A drone trying to drive these zerglings back, trying to delay them back off that top sunken colony. But the and the zerglings are going to be able to get there. They're starting to attack it now. The drone's pulling off, trying to defend, but it looks like Rancor, yeah, defended it. With the drone delay and getting that creep colony up, so now he's got the two Sutton colonies down. Lair is on the way for Art of Turtle, but it's going to be well behind, and he doesn't have that additional hatchery advantage. So early gas, a nice defense against the Nine Pool, and Rancor is three drones up, is going to get his Spire down much, 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 much more rapidly than Arter Turtle, and it might be a quick 3-0. Arter Turtle, as far as the defense, yeah, needs to just dive and see what he can get. Has picked off one drone. Needs to slow this economy down. He's got two drones. Looks like he might... Didn't manage to get a third, unfortunately. The other thing was with these two Creep Colonies... So here's the thing. Art of Turtle can just drone really hard himself. With what larva he has. But the thing is, is with these two creep colonies, Rancor can just, yeah, drone, drone, drone himself. And as long as he hits the timing right, he's going to have those mutalisks, more or less mutalisks, much more rapidly, which will do a couple things for him. One, he's going to have the positional advantage. He will be able to get some overlords picked off. In fact, let's see if these overlords start trailing one another. Rancor pulling his Overlord back. Looks like Arbitral going to go ahead and try to trail that one. Some Zerglings now out for Rancor. But the question is, is does Rancor, with his earlier Mutalisks, opt to just dive into the main? Because oftentimes Muta versus Muta fights over your opponent's base ends up with some drones either being weakened or killed underneath. Zerglings kind of strolling in. They don't have that speed upgrade. Sutton Colony is there for Art of Turtle. 
some Zerglings with speed there to go ahead and counter. So it looks like this is going to be cleaned up by Artichurl very, very easily. Also might expend a couple of larvae there. Three Mutalisks now on the way. Four Mutalisks on the way for Rancor. And the Spire has just finished. And a pair of Scourge being produced. So now... Arter Turtle diving in with these Zerglings. I don't know that that's much of a legitimate threat. I think he's just trying to provide some distraction. Rancor careening towards Arter Turtle's main. Could come down to some Scourge versus Mutalisk Micro here. Arter Turtle hiding the Mutalisk to the north. Rancor now working on those Overlords. And Rancor not realizing it loses one Mutalisk. Very nearly has lost a second. Ooh, doing some nice. And around, ah, loses a second Mutalisk. Buying Art of Turtle some time to get his own Mutalisks up. And it, more Scourge out. Well played. So Rancor had a bit of a timing advantage. And all of a sudden it is flipped on its head. And now Art of Turtle, with Scourge and a closer reinforcement point, might be able to get an Overlord. And that could be all the difference. And the Scourge winding their way against Rancor. Rancor trying to get an Overlord kill. But the Scourge providing enough of a threat where it's providing enough of a delay. Or at least, well, let's see if this Overlord gets taken out. More Mutalists flooding out for Rancor. I don't see the Mutalists comparatively for Arter Turtle. Rancor loses an Overlord. That puts him in the red. And now Arter Turtle able to jump in. And I believe he landed with those Scourge. Things are starting to fall apart for Rancor. Actually able to switch around positionally though. This might turn into an Overlord kill on his side. Ah, uh, maybe not. Some Zerglings still camped nearby. So Arter Turtle looks like he managed to defend his Overlords. He's got additional Mulus being produced. I believe that's the case. Maybe he ended up losing one. And I just missed it. Zerglings being cleared out of the natural expansion. Both players going for the Carapace upgrade. It looks like Arter Turtle is going to be ahead this time. As far as the Carapace upgrade. Overlord trying to hide in that upper end corner. This one's still exposed, making its way back towards the main. Second inside base hatchery for both players as well. So they're going to be even as far as their lava production. And we are just about dead even here now in the mid game. 28 supply versus 30. 14 drones even. And Rancor trying to sneak his natural expansion. Zergling's there to see it. Arter Turtle is going to go ahead and grab his natural expansion as well. It's going to be slightly behind. Anyone's match. Dead even. Trying to keep an eye on the Muta count. Dead even and it looks like the Mutalist Scourge count as well. A big win for Arter Turtle might be being able to engage right the second if he can get an even reinforcement point with that Carapace upgrade. I'm not sure he's going to be able to capitalize on it given that it's just finished in the positioning right here. But there's a couple seconds here before Carapace 1 is finishing for Rancor. Where he might be able to do a little bit of damage. Trying to threaten right here. Able to take out a Scourge at least. Small victories. Arter Turtle going up 5 supply. But he's 1 drone down. 2 drones down now. More Scourge coming out for Rancor. Arter Turtle at least has a small positional advantage. Zerglings. Just letting their, their presence be known. Creep Colony plopping down. Some more Zerglings moving forward from Arter Turtle. But his Mutalisks are not overhead. Looks like they're still sitting in the defensive position. So Arter Turtle, even though he's a little bit slightly behind, three drones right here, critically he's getting this extractor up very rapidly. And if he can get those three drones and gas immediately... That actually could be a big win. Another creep colony and a defensive spore colony for Rancor. That's going to allow him to get a bit more aggressive versus for Arter Turtle. So Arter Turtle with the overall supply lead. Keep in mind, a portion of that is in Zerglings. Both players sitting at Carapace 1. Try to get a look at the overall Mutalist count. Looks like there is a superior Mutalist count for Arter Turtle currently. Rancor has the better defense. He's got more drones, though, on the ground. He's starting to saturate that natural expansion. So still anybody's match, but 
slight economic lead to Rancor, slight army lead to Arter Turtle. Although he keeps sending out these Zerglings, it looks like he, he's getting superior scouting information from these Zerglings as well. Sees that Overlord in the bottom right-hand corner. I'm wondering if he's going to dedicate two Scourge to go that direction, or even a Mutalisk to head out there to maybe take that Overlord out. But as things progress, Rancor is going to start moving further and further ahead. Scourge moving forward to do equivalent scouting. Finding a lot of Mutalisks right there. Because right now, Rancor is droning up. He has six drones ahead. And Ardor Turtle really isn't punishing for it at all. Level 1 weapons is being upgraded. It looks like level 2 carapace is being upgraded from Ardor Turtle. This is where I'm a bit ignorant. But I believe that the level 1 weapons is... So I'm trying to logic this one out. I believe because in larger numbers with the, the Bouncing Glaive that the level 1 weapons ends up being a larger factor than level 2 Carapace, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I would love a more of a ZVZ specialist, someone like Urban or someone like that, to let me know. That Overlord, I missed it, was taken out in that bottom right-hand corner. But Rancor, in the meantime, 25 drones to 17. Control group plus three, so 15 Mutalisks up in the air. Comparatively, a full control group up there for Rancor. He's grabbing more defenses. Which might allow him to run up. Some Zerglings playing tag along that upper corner. And Art of Turtle now behind in the overall supply count. He is starting to drone up himself, though. Oh, is that Zergling going to be able to get all the way in? Finding no defenses here. And I'm wondering if that's going to provoke Rancor saying, like, okay, I've got defenses at home. I'm not sure if he wants to try to provoke an attack at his main or if he wants to go ahead and get aggressive, realizing that there's just not a lot of defense here for Arbiter Turtle. And if he can... Here's the thing, with that, particularly with that level 1 weapons upgrade, if he engages over this drone line, oftentimes those glaives can end up hitting those drones and you can end up with some collateral damage and kills that way. Usually, if you're attacking your opponent over their drone line, it ends up being advantageous and you end up winning. In the long term. Not a hard rule, but... More often than not, is the case. Both players sitting back. This is the part of the ZVZ that's just kind of... I, I'm going to admit, it's a mystery to me. Well, if you notice, they're, they're basically just about dead even. They know when to build Munos. They know when to build drones. Like, how do they know when to sneak it? Given... Because we see everything, right? They see very little. Take out the Kakaru. Catching an Overlord right there. That's going to put Arter Turtle in the red. It's a little tit for tat there. Still about even in supply count overall. Now level... So level 1 weapons has finished for Rancor. He's starting to move to that 12 o'clock location. He's going to go ahead and grab that. Playing very defensively. Level 2 Carapace is just about to finish for Arter Turtle. Scourge managed to find the Mutalisk army and land a hit. Right there. So Rancor continuing to play the slow economic game. And if he can establish that base, that would be a big win. Especially getting that third gas. But Arbitral, in the meantime, has jetted up in supply. Keep in mind, with that 300 mineral difference, Zergling snuck up. I believe it saw that 12 o'clock base. And that should be an indicator for Arbitral to do something. Either to continue pumping economy and go for an attack, or potentially go ahead and grab a third of his own. Pumping nothing but Mutalisks at this stage. We do see a Queen's Nest being built for Rancor, so he wants to try to move this into the late game hive, especially if you can get if you can get Plague. It is a game changer. But he's got to weather the storm in the interim, and right now Arter Turtle does look like he's got a 10 supply lead. In Mutalisk and Scourge, a drone moving up to the north is going to... Ooh, actually, it escapes with its life. Rancor having to cancel that hatchery last second. So Arter Turtle all of a sudden with a big win. Actually, I think the Scourge... What? Yeah, those Scourge going to get taken out before they're able to do something as well. But here's the thing. If Rancor can sit back, get this hive up, get a plague down, get a defiler out, could be a big win. Scourge landing right there, keeping Arter Turtle's... Mutalisk Force a little bit soft. Rancor still up two drones. Down 10 supply otherwise. 
and the armies continue to build. This feels like that, you know, it's like, I don't even know if I would call this like a Cold War per se. Level one, or sorry, level two carapace, just about finished for Rancor. Level one weapons equivalently on the way for Arter Turtle. Arter Turtle moving again, checking that 12 o'clock location. I'm wondering if he's debating diving over this natural expansion. Hive not that far from finishing. That Hive finishes, yeah, I don't know what Arter Turtle's going to do then. Some units being caught out of position and basically being donated for free. There to the north, another Mutalisk. Arter Turtle still has some trouble with the, his rally points in these units. Hive is finished. Time is on Rancor's side at this stage. A couple Zerglings getting picked off. A Mutalisk is taking some free damage. And now we're seeing the full engagement here. And that is as Weapon Once had finished for Rancor. Plus he is the closer reinforcement point. It is too hard to tell who is going to end up winning in this match. I'm not sure who's getting the better part of Focus Fire. But it looks like Arda Turtle, with the superior Mutalisk count, might be able to peel through this army. I'm wondering if the re closer reinforcements for Rancor is going to end up winning the day, however. Several Scourge moving up from Arda Turtle, able to land hits from underneath. And Rancor now in flight. He's got seven Mutalisks that are remaining. He needs to not overcommit. Might be able to get an Overlord kill or two. But oof. Ended up piecemealed out there and ended up losing a handful of Mutalisks. And we just went from over 100 supply to... We basically, at both sides lost half their supply with that attack. A bit of a counterattack with some Zerglings. But counter Zerglings right there for Arter Turtle. And I missed it. This was actually... Oh, I missed a critical piece while all that was happening. Some Zerglings were able to flood in the natural expansion and get a slew of drone kills on Arter Turtle. So Rancor once again peeling ahead. And I'm going to do something uncharacteristic, and I'm going to do a quick rewind, because that's going to be a critical point. A critical point in this battle. And sorry I didn't catch that the first time. We'll move times eight. Move across. Waiting for the engage. See if I can find the Zerglings. Whoop. Bear with me, folks. So here's the Zerglings flooding their way across. And so while all of this battle is happening right here, and Otter Turtle is getting the better part of it, these Zerglings were able to walk in. There's only a single mule to try to defend. And these, and no wonder this battle didn't go as well for Rancor, because he just wasn't focus firing. He wasn't even bothering to. Because he was more focused on the micro down here, and that, I believe that is going to be a game cap. No sunken here. The Zerglings completely clearing that natural expansion. Plus the Hive Tech is up. So Hive Tech is there, more Zerglings making their way across, just seeing if they can catch a few more drone kills, and it looks like they're going to be able to. And Rancor with an end around distractionary attack is going to take this, and now the Mutalisk's moving in. Arter Turtle has to be, has to be heartbroken. He did so well in that earlier macro fight, or that big Muna versus Muna fight, just to have the Zerglings sneak underneath. That was great timing on Rancor, I gotta say. But this is going to be an inevitable GG, I believe, at this stage from Arter Turtle. And it looks like Rancor is going to advance. Some drones, battle drone, moving up to track this. Some Zerglings want to move in, but there is a Sunken Colony to try to defend. Trying to work on that Sunken Colony. This is kind of the desperate last second attack. And this kind of feels like, yeah, just kind of the leftover piecemeal. Some more Zerglings have managed to sneak in. They're going to pick off some drones otherwise. And it's just kind of a mop-up operation. At this stage of things, Rancor can pick off Overlords, which it looks like he's going to do so at this stage. More Zerglings going to try to flood through. The Mutalis is going to be pinned down dealing with them. So Rancor can, can go ahead and can do a lot of things. He can drone up. He can go ahead and take a third. He can go ahead and pick off just all sorts of Overlords that are now uh, trapped out here. He can go ahead and grab his own, uh, and actually a, a latent Overlord. Just, yeah, Arter Turtle, I believe, has kind of given up at this stage. Just despondent. Because it is just going through the motions at this stage of things. Down to 39 supply. Engaging his, his Mutalus. Yeah. Didn't have his Mutalus full grouped. And was engaging against his enemy's Mutalus in stage. Just kind of a micro fight at this stage. Kind of going through the motions. 12 o'clock base is being taken by Rancor. And there's GD from Arter Turtle. Oh. So 3-0. But I got to say they were pretty decent matches. All the way across.
Sorry for missing the Zergling sneaking through. It looks like Arter Turtle missed it as well, so if it was me, I would have missed it. Unfortunate. Hope you guys enjoyed it, though. Good games. Arter Turtle. Can't wait to see him in next season of BSL, but in the meantime, we got Rancor, we got Dengtarg, we got Exit advancing to the round four. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.